to Serendipity 3 for its frozen hot chocolate, which is so famous, even Hollywood loves it. And here to show us how to make it is Serendipity's head chef, Joe Calderon. Joe, great to see you this morning. How are you? Great, great, great is, to be here. This is still a, no matter how many years pass, still a destination. If you come to New York City, you have to come to Serendipity 3. Absolutely. Well, uh, this year we're celebrating 57 years in New York. And the frozen hot chocolate is more famous than ever. Now, when you've got weather like this, where it's in the 20s and we've had all this snow, you would think frozen hot chocolate would not be the, the first choice for a lot of people. You would think so, but uh, the reality is that people buy as many frozen hot chocolates in the winter as they do in the summer. Yeah. Uh, it's just you know, a chocolate treat that uh, makes people happy. Who came up with the idea, though? You're thinking hot chocolate. Who decided, uh, put Frozen in front of that? Well, the, the original three owners came up with, uh, with the drink. Um, you know, it was the 50s, daiquiris were in, yeah. um, and they came up with this drink. You know, of course, it doesn't have alcohol, but you can always add it. Yep. Um, and, uh, you know, it was way before the Starbucks Frappuccinos and all of those other drinks. So it was an, an innovation, a true innovation. All right, well, let's show the people at home exactly how they can do it. I also want to convey that this this is a highly, highly coveted recipe. Yes. Under, yeah, heavily guarded, highly coveted. So absolutely, you'll get some of the idea of what we're, but we're not going to get too specific, right? No, no, not too specific. <laughs> but it's 14 uh, exotic cocos. Okay. And that that comes in the serendipity mix. So what we're going to do is we're going to take uh, a half a cup of dried milk. Okay. Uh, half a cup of sugar, right. and then you're going to help me with all these all different, all 14 um, exotic cocos. Now, cocos are grown uh, from the cocoa tree um, 20 or uh, 10, uh, 10 to 20 degrees north and south of the equator in, in countries such as West Africa, um, uh, some parts of Asia, Madagascar, um, and they're all different. And a lot of Differences too is Dutch cocoa. Dutch cocoa is processed with alkali, okay. so um, I've got this. It uh, it gives it a kind of a rounder feeling. So we mix this all in here. Do you want to mix that? Sure, and I'm going to start. You do that. So do we just tell people at home just go out and find as many different cocos as you many can? Many different cocos, and you got to use a, a variety of cocos, and you have to use Dutch cocos and natural cocos okay. to get that full uh, experience. And there it lies will never come out. Quite like God, I was gonna say, there it lies. Your secret is yes. the specific cocos that you use. Okay, so, we've so got that's this perfect. Blender. Now you're going to put that in here. Yep. Okay, and then go. we're going to add about three cups of crushed ice mm -hmm. and blend. That's a lot of noise. Yeah. Okay, a lot of ice. A lot of ice. So that blends for about 30 seconds. Yeah. And then we're going to pour it into a goblet. And basically, it's just a different consistency. Longer you blend, it's obviously going to give you a little bit of a different kind of consistency. Yeah, you, right. you want to blend at least 30 seconds to make it smooth. You don't want any grittiness from the ice. Got it. Uh, and it comes out really, really well. And I think we're... Um, Three, two, two, one. One. We're there. Hit it. Let's give it we're a there. shot. Looks pretty good, huh? Yeah. I'm just going to pour that out. Yeah, let's do that. And... Oh, look at that. We pour that into <laughs> a you huge look at the goblet. Size of that thing. Holy cow! Yeah, and we're going to top it. And with this is where this is where we really, we really make our frozen hot chocolate special. A little whipped cream. Uh, yeah, a little a whipped, whipped cream. cream. <laughs> and you can add some different flavors. You can add, you've got some different options here if you wanted to go that route. Yeah, in the mix, uh, when you put all the ingredients, you can add um, pomegranate syrup, which yep. is really famous, high, high antioxidants, mm -hmm. uh, raspberry, um, peanut butter topping is one of our favorites. You can even use malt powder and make a malted frozen hot so chocolate. So let's finish this off. Now we've got the shaved chocolate. It's finished with shaved chocolate. And we put a lot, and we don't worry where it spills. Okay. And I'm dying to. I'm just dying to get in there and, and grab this. And you can eat it with <laughs> a spoon. Yeah. Or drink it with the straw. Let me try the spoon first. Fantastic. Let me try it with the straw. <laughs> Fantastic. I'm going to go back to the spoon. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Dynamite. Really good. Really good. Really, really good.